didn't have my breakout season until my senior year. How did you, uh, that makes it all the more remarkable that you did what you did. Yeah, uh, like I say, a lot of people think, oh, just because, you know, I'm working hard and everything, that that's all it. It's not. Honestly, you can work hard all day, you can do all this stuff, but without God, none of this is possible. So with God having strong faith, that's what made this time and this and everything here possible. I have faith in God and, you know, strong faith. Strong faith equals great accomplishments. How did those injuries happen, though? Uh, I say my eighth grade was just me being dumb, doing backflips and stuff. I tried to do a flip, a flip over my friend, broke my knee. Uh, ninth grade, I was in a basketball tournament and I was going up for a layup. Kid hit me in my knee and it kind of moves. And my tenth grade, yeah, I was just running a hundred and out of nowhere my hip just broke. And so we we still don't know to this day why that happened, but. I mean, everything happened for a reason. Did you run so fast with your bricks? Honestly, I don't even, I wasn't running that fast going into my, my uh, 11th grade, my 10th, my 10th grade year. It's just like I came up on my drive phase and I know I was in lane five and then I was in the grass, so I don't know what happened. You have a pin in it? or? Uh, not in my hip, but in my knees I do. So it's both so, separate knees or both? Yes. So people talk about Usain Bolt and how tall he is and all that. So what do you attribute your speed to? Uh, to me, height don't mean nothing. Uh, I, I've raised a lot of people that tall to me, 6'2", six, 6'3". Six, that height stuff don't mean nothing. At the end of the day, God has everything written for everybody. If he want me to be the fastest dude out there, he's going to make that happen. They can't stop that. Nobody on this planet can. So everybody talk about, oh, because he's this tall, he's going to always be faster. I have raised, I have raised competitors that have been two times taller than me. And that hasn't stopped me then. It ain't gonna stop God either. Just a quick note for you guys. Trayvon is the first teenager ever to make the World Championships 100 meter team for the men. And he's the first to make a U.S. team at all as a teenager in 100 since Stanley Floyd, 1980. Thank you. Yes, 19 years old. Birthday in two weeks. Nice. <laughs> so, um, I remember you racing this final with the final the NCAA. I mean, technically, it was a really between the two I just feel like everybody has their day, you know, God, like I said, God has a, a plan for everybody. His plan was to make the grass a two-time national champion. And, you know, I salute him because he's a great runner, and then day I know what God can do. When I seen him win the 100, I was like, it's in God's plan for him to win both of these races. I already seen it because I have, I have that strong faith connection with God, and when he tells me something, I believe it. When I seen him run that 100, I was like, he's hungry more than ever. And, I, I mean, everything happened for a reason. Maybe it wasn't meant for me to win NCs, but it was meant for me to come here and get on the team. So, I mean, everything. Uh, no, I, I ran my race, and that's another thing why I say God is the only person who control everything that all this stuff that happened. We can't control none of these things happen for a reason. Do you consider yourself a legit contender to medal at Beijing? Uh, I can't really say. It's all about how my body recovers and how I'm feeling that day. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Thanks, man.